Good Tuesday morning, my bonbons. How are you guys doing today? I hope your Monday was okay. Um, I am actually headed out early. I had to take an early lunch and I'm going to my doctor's appointment. Um, one of my incisions that I got uh, is infected. So I'm gonna go get that checked out because it's starting to hurt a little bit. So um, yeah, so I guess I will be back after the doctor's. I'll see you in a bit. Hi. So I am done with the doctor. But I do have a rant, you know, I normally don't complain very much about stuff and I don't rant and rave unless it's in the privacy of my own home, kind of. But, you know, the last two times I went to the doctor and he was checking out my incisions from my surgery, he tells me, you know, now let me say this, I'm self-conscious enough about my belly because not only am I a bigger person, but I had a major surgery in the Philippines which required 65 staples. I was basically cut from the top of my stomach to all the way to the bottom, to my groin area. So it's a huge scar, you know? And not only that, I have scars from the drains and stuff like that from my surgery. So now I have more new scars on my belly. I have six more incisional scars from the cancer surgery. So he tells me the last two times that he's checked my belly over, he's like, boy, your stomach is starting to look like a road map. And I'm like, you know, I'm self-conscious enough about my belly, and now you're telling me my belly is starting to look like a road map. Ugh. So anyway, that's my rant for today. I'll be back soon. Just waiting for my prescriptions. Got an antibiotic, so... Um, trying to figure out what I'm going to do for dinner. Uh, I wanted to cook out yesterday. We had ribs and we ended up getting storms. My weather radio was going off because we had a severe thunderstorm warning. So I wasn't able to cook out yesterday. But um, I think today, since I'm on an extended lunch for my doctor's appointment, I am going to run to pick and save and maybe get some burgers and brats for the grill because I really want grilled out food. Ah! So yeah, oh and I need to get charcoal because we're out, we've been grilling out a lot since we got that new grill, it has totally paid off. We have totally got our $35 worth already. So yeah, so I'm just going to wait here for them to get me my prescription and then I'm going to, I seem to always be heading to pick and save when I'm <laughs> vlogging, but that's where I'm going to go, oh, I should go to Piggly Wiggly and see if they still have that meat sale. Maybe I'll go there and get the stuff, so yeah. Yes. Alrighty, so I am home now. Sorry I got interrupted before when I was at the pharmacy, but the lady came to give me my prescription. So as you can see, they got the kids doing their chores in the background, because that's the only way they're allowed to go outside, is if their chores get done. I am quickly eating my lunch, because I really kind of took an extended lunch to go to the doctor. And, oh, I did get dinner. I just got some brats and hamburgers. And then I bought some of these Johnsonville grillers. They're like hamburgers with, you can either get cheddar, cheddar cheese in there or it's like Swiss cheese and mushrooms, something like that. So I got those for the guys or for the kids or whatever. Whoever wants to try one. There's only six in the box. but And I got some baked beans and some chips. So we are going to grill out tonight. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Hopefully. Yes, Maddie? Are you going with Hannah? Okay, you need to check in by 3 o'clock. Alrighty, so I am going to get back to eating my salad for lunch and get back to work. So I hope you guys are having a good day so far. I'll be back. What you going to say? You going to say, hey, my name is Anthony Skabowski. <laughs> You're not going to say that? That's funny. What are you going to say to her? <laughs> what are you going to say? My name is Anthony Shankle. My name is Anthony Shankle. Oh, and what else? Say, do you want to be my friend? No. What? Um, I have friends. Oh, but well, what if you make new friends? I'm going to make new friends. So what are you going to say to make new friends? I don't know. you got to have some kind of game, dude. Some kind of game? Yeah, you got to go up to somebody and be like, hey, my name is Anthony. You want to hang out sometime or, you know, something like that? Mm. Remember? Remember my mom went to a and she got new skirt guns? Yeah, the nice, the big ones? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and where'd you get those from? Um, Grandma Lottie. Oh, yeah, Grandma Lottie. That's cool. Yeah, and... Her tail's hitting my head. So are you nervous to go to 
Still work good? Yeah. Yeah. But somebody cracked my green one. Oh, but you still got the blue one, right? Um, no, I can't find that one. Say, what are you doing? It is such a beautiful day out today. All day it was beautiful. It's not too hot. It's just perfect. The neighborhood's quiet. Kids are out playing. Who's out there with you? Oh. Everything is just quiet. So yeah, dinner is almost done. I am hungry. We are having baked beans and potato chips with it. That sounded funny, potato chips. <laughs> but anyway, so tonight I'm with this vlog, I'm uploading that little newlywed game that we all played. Um, we're not newlyweds and neither is Christy and Mikey, but we still played anyway. I think it would be a fun tag for people to try. So that'll be uploaded tonight as well for Tag Tuesday. And we will be tagging somebody. That grill is on fire. Damn. Tell me about it. Ooh, them burgers look good. Look at that. Whoa! Wow! I'm fucking right there. I burnt. Oh shit! You fucking thing. Mmm. This is what I've been wanting to do for two days: is grill out. Yummy, yummy. That's the most flavor to that one. <laughs> He's all the way on his toes. Get that <laughs> Mr. Cook. What are you doing? <laughs> this motherfucker makes no sense, dude. I tried to give him a hot fry. I said, You probably did. No? Is it good? Uh, Sky. You just said, Is I it good? Yeah. <clears throat> How you feeling, Izzy? You said no. I'm it was not in his hand. You've been shaking for three days now. Well, I just woke up. I want to step up now. Yummy, 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 yummy. It looks a little burnt, but you know what? The barbecue is supposed to be like that. It's good. Hey, Betsy Wetsy, but like this barbecue, I bet if she's seen this. <laughs> right? Shout out to Betsy Wetsy. We wanted to give her a shout out because she's one of our biggest commenters and she loves us. Team Bon Bon. Especially me. Hello my Bon Bons. How you doing? So it's after dinner and I have decided that I needed to get out of the house. So I took a drive to one of my favorite spots and it doesn't really look like much. Um, I'll show you in a few minutes but it's a very special spot for me I guess. Um, my grandpa used to bring me here all the time when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. We would just come and sit here either in the car and talk, or we would feed the ducks. And There's a lot of memories in this place that I come to, and I come here for tranquility and for peace because it just makes me feel good to be here. So sometimes, you know, when you're a mom and you have four children and just the hustle and bustle of the day, the work day, then having to din do dinner and cleaning and getting into the middle of your teenage girl's fights and, and it just sometimes it gets to you and you just need to take a step away, take some deep breaths and, and just find some inner peace for yourself. And that's one of the reasons why I come here and every time I do need a break this is where I come it's never any place else different it's always here because this is where I always felt at peace I guess you could say so I'm gonna turn the camera around now and show you where I am 
Kathy, I told you it's not much. It's one of the marinas that we have here, a smaller one. That tree has been there <laughs> ever since I was a kid. Same tree, same benches in the same spots. This is where I would go bring a loaf of bread. My grandpa would go buy that day old bread and we'd bring it here and I'd feed the ducks and we'd sit here and have an ice cream cone. Or there used to be like a little stand over that way where they would sell ice cream. And yeah, it was just a peaceful time sitting here with him, you know? Brings back a lot of memories coming and sitting here. And he was, you know, you always have that one special person in your life. You know, whether it's your mom or your dad or your grandpa or your grandma or a cousin or whoever, you know, that, that has made an impact in your life and has made you feel better than anybody's ever made you feel. And and my one person was my grandfather, and I miss him dearly. It's been 16 years since he passed. He passed when I was pregnant with my daughter. And this is where I go. This is where I go to remember him and to feel some sort of peace and to give myself some tranquility and an inner peace and think about things. And so, yeah, I guess I'll be back a little bit later. Oh, somebody's sick. Oh. <laughs> Taking our asthma treatment. Because she's sick. Pobacita. What does that mean? Poor baby. Say hi. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. So, I'm going to end this video now. I have a sick kid. And Craig is kind of sick, too. He's kind of getting over it, though. He's been on some antibiotics. So, But Isabel's really sick. She's running a low-grade fever. We picked up the summer cold somehow in our house. Hopefully it doesn't get past to me because I am not looking forward to getting a summer cold. So anyway, I'm ending this video now. I hope everybody had a great Tuesday. And I will see you tomorrow. Please like this video. Please click that little red subscribe button. And share this video with all your family and friends. I hope you have a great evening. See you tomorrow.